Easter extravaganza celebrating Easter. The holiday that was invented when people found out that they could put money in eggs. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, that's not how Easter began, Mr. Krabs. You're right. Easter began when you idiot told us about it. No, this is how Easter began. Once a woman was baking a cake, she figured out how to with a cookbook. Two of the steps were stir and eat. She liked saying those two steps. Stir, eat, stir, eat, stir, eat. And one day, she said them backwards. Eat, stir, eat, stir. This gave her an idea. Hmm, I could do a holiday out of that. So she had a magical fairy. Give a bunny eggs. And since that day, the bunny always gave people eggs for Easter. And the company Easter Inc. thought the name was a bit too weird and people wouldn't get it, so they changed it to Easter. And that is how Easter began. No, it isn't, Patrick. Then how did it begin? This is how. At around 75 AD, the company Easter Incorporated, home company of the holiday, was having a meeting on who should be the mascot for the new holiday. Any ideas? We could have cartoon talking eggs. No, too fictional. Any other ideas? Cash. This is very hard. But an idiot had an idea. We should have a rabbit give people eggs. And the children would be happy because they have candy in them. And they would enjoy the holiday. That's actually not bad for an idiot. Hey, who you call an idiot? And since that day, that rabbit became what we now know as the Easter Bunny. The end. Good story, SpongeBob, actually. I think that's actually what could have happened, compared to Patrick's story. Hey, Patrick, can you get the door? You are wrong.